the underground work within Rio Tinto is on the block cave mines. So we have a real uh, necessity to, to have a good software package that allows us to do the production scheduling that we need to, to evaluate our projects and to understand when they go into operations what we're going to deliver. PCBC is the world's leading block caving technology and is used by virtually every mining company involved in block cave mines and projects. It has a powerful set of tools to cover the full life cycle of a block cave project, right from concept study through feasibility, construction, operation and closure. PCBC's benefits include risk reduction for large capital projects by evaluation of multiple scenarios, better grade modeling and forecasting by using multiple material mixing options, complete integration from pre-feasibility modeling right through to daily production, which is unmatched in the block cave industry. Powerful production scheduling, which can rapidly be updated and modified for real production statistics. Let's take a look at how PCBC supports block caving. We start with a geological model. If the ore body shape seems appropriate for a block cave operation, we then need to evaluate mineable reserves and see if the project has potential. So the key inputs are block model grades and the economic parameters such as mining cost and metal prices. Full integration with the GEMS geology and mine planning software allows users to achieve this easily. The Footprint Finder tool is an awesome tool because it gives you a very, very quick uh, understanding of where you should be looking to design your cave. The next stage is to evaluate where we want to put a footprint and what the shape of the footprint will look like. We need to be able to do this quickly so that we can rapidly evaluate different alternatives. While the Footprint Finder tool is running, we can see the shape of the footprint being generated at each elevation, together with the shape of the cave above each footprint. A quick production schedule is run for each elevation and the results are compared, allowing us to rapidly select the best elevation. Once we have the best elevation, we build the detailed draw point model. When building a model with multiple grade elements, multi-lift and other complexities, it is important to have powerful query tools to validate that the model is correctly set up. So we can select on some draw points and quickly look at the results in Excel. After the model has been built, we need to evaluate the mineable reserves for the footprint. This is done in PCBC using the best height of draw tool. It rapidly makes allowances for dilution and shows the maximum tonnage potential for that layout. Of course, at the same time, comprehensive reports are generated directly into Excel, showing in this case the tons and grades and dilution for each production tunnel. These are sorted for each level of this two-lift scenario. We need to run a production schedule to evaluate the tons and grades in each mining period. This is the heart of the PCBC software package, and there are over 150 keyword controls and several scheduling and tonnage depletion methods to suit each user's requirements. There is also a powerful playback tool for the scheduler, which allows us to see items such as height of draw surface and the detailed tons depleted for each period. Once a mine is into active production, they typically use the cave management system to help generate the daily draw order. We are now interested in specific details and status of each operating draw point. This is done in a graphical environment. Simply set the required tonnages for the next period and a feasible draw order is generated, taking into account the draw point status or condition of each draw point and historical tonnages already mined from that draw point. After a few iterations, a suitable order can be generated, which is then saved into the underlying SQL database. Several interfaces exist to third-party systems such as Sandvik's AutoMine system, which is capable of reading directly from the GEMS SQL data tables. A rich library of display functionality is available both in Excel and within the GEMS graphical environment. Here we show how to generate a plot showing a pie chart at each draw point with each color representing a different rock type. PCBC is used by all the leading mining companies involved with block cave mines and projects. Our key clients include Freeport, Rio Tinto, Newcrest, Codelco and De Beers. Our client's first question is usually which other sites use it, has the software proven itself, what's the track record behind it, 
what is the verification in it, the proof that, you know, the proof is in the pudding at the end of the day. And with PCBC, it's been around for 25 years. Virtually every blocker uses PCBC at this stage and it has the backing and the thinking of most of the blockade experts in the world built into the software which helps especially new engineers coming in to learn from that experience and build on that experience going forward.